Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and uh, today I've got uh, got something quite special for you, in my opinion. Well, uh, that right there is a Gigabyte A520MH uh, motherboard. So it's an A520 motherboard. It's not supposed to be able to overclock. Um, yeah, <laughs> about that. This is a Ryzen 5 3600. Um, uh, damn it, I have it set to high priority. Did I crash it? Oh, I crashed it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's just lagging. Yes, I do want to stop the render. Because the, the thing is, I had it set to high priority to boost the score a bit, but I'm going to set it to normal so that it isn't screwing me over. So let's run that. Yeah, about that no overclocking. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man, but like... Last I checked, Ryzen 5 3600s are supposed to be clocked at a maximum of 4.2 gigahertz. That there sure doesn't look like 4.2 gigahertz. Um, now you may notice that the the frequency is actually like bouncing around a bit during the 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 bench run, and I'm not entirely sure how that works or what's causing that. I, I've been messing around with this um, just a very short period of time so far. But yeah, and here you can see, like, we are on a, which one was it, Windows? There we go, yeah. So, Gigabyte A520MH. I, I'm using the BIOS that, you know, it came with when I ordered the motherboard. Um, how do I get out of this? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Um, anyway, so, yeah, it, it's just on the, the initial release BIOS um, for now. And uh, it can overclock. Like you can straight out. Like it w it's supposed to be able to overclock the memory, but I can I can overclock the freaking CPU, um, which you're not supposed to be able to do. So yeah, that's uh, that's great. Um, I hope AMD doesn't patch this out, um, or maybe this is just gigabyte. Like the funny thing is, if you actually dig through the BIOS, the like AMD overclocking menu in the CBS settings is missing. So I assume. Like, the only reason this works, and it is extremely janky, mind you. Like, the, the way this is currently working is, like, I, I need to run a high BCLK. Because if you just raise the ratio, it, it doesn't do anything. But uh, if you set a, like, if you raise the BCLK, that works as normal initially. Um, and actually, I, sh I probably shouldn't be putting that in, into this video. Like, anyway, yeah, you, you can overclock. Um, I think... I think it still seems to be somehow tied to the boost system. So, uh, where is it? Um, nope, there. So, I, in XFR enhancement, I have the like power limits tweaked and everything. So, with maybe with like a 3950X, you probably wouldn't be very successful. Also, this motherboard would not survive a 3950X. I, like, not not a chance. Um, I, I've already done some 3950X testing with this board. Yeah, you real like. You could technically overclock with 3950X on this. You really, really shouldn't. Um, anyway, but a 3600, like, um, hell yeah. And the cool thing is, like, we actually have LLC on this board, and it works. We have, like, a... Like, this This is using a proper voltage controller. Um, this... Like, if Gigabyte had released this instead of the garbage that they called most of it, like, that they had for, like, their B450 and a B350, uh, motherboard lineups, like, it would, like, they would have been so much easier to recommend. Because th the thing is, those boards had a voltage controller that was just such a pain to work with. You didn't have load line calibration. The only way to configure the voltage was offset. It was super annoying. But, uh... Yeah, and so this is super, super clunky right now. Um, but, yeah, like, the, the main thing here is, like, oh, my God, you, you can overclock. Like, you can overclock a, a freaking um, Ryzen CPU on, a, on an A520, uh, A520 motherboard. Um, 
Yeah, and, and like... This is not supposed to work. <laughs> oh, man. I'm really happy that I picked this up. Um, also, what I got to say, I'm really surprised that the BCLK works at such high frequencies. Like, 108 megahertz BCLK. I, like, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to boot. Uh, yeah, it just keeps booting. I'm assuming our PCIe speed has dropped all the way down at this point, though. Um, anyway, I do like I definitely have a bunch of extra like more bunch of bunch more testing that I need to do with this because, yeah, it, it's a little bit clunky. Like the score, the the Cinebench score isn't as high as it it really should be for the frequency that it's at. Like we're running what almost 4.4 gigahertz um and it's it's scoring a little bit low and i think that's mostly because if you watch the frequencies like initially everything's 4.37 but yeah and then yeah th th they start dropping as like the temperatures rise so it's not really a proper static overclock yet also i've had some issues with it like locking up and crashing but that was while i had all the power management still enabled so i've so maybe that might be gone now that i've disabled all the power management but yeah the score is a little bit low so i i still have some figuring out to do for this i think how this will end up like hopefully i don't hit some really annoying bclk wall because i think that might be the key to it to just run absolutely ludicrous bclk um but uh and by ludicrous, I mean, we might be approaching like 120-ish BCLK, which, like, this is cool. Like, this, like, the reason why I find this so cool and why I'm now so happy that I bought A520 is because, like, I wasn't excited about B550 because B550 was just like X570 but cheaper and without a chipset fan, which, like, I, I don't care. Like... I, I just, yeah, this, that doesn't affect me. I, I'm not, like, I wasn't really excited about that. But this this is exciting because um, it's really different, right? Like, the way you overclock something like this is really, really different from any other Ryzen motherboard. Um, it's not even supposed to be <laughs> overclockable, which is my favorite part. Um, it's dirt cheap, right? This is a This is a 60 pound motherboard. Like, I got this board for 60 quid, so... Yeah, um, like, the, the, like I'm, I'm excited about this. Like, if, if if this ends up working with some, like, crazy high BCLK and I actually get it properly static, because the, the, the ratio floating around like that, like, it might not necessarily be a stability hazard, but also the voltage going up and down is, like, it is the, I don't really appreciate it doing that. Um, but, um, yeah, like... Uh, ho hopefully this doesn't get fixed. Like, I really hope this doesn't get fixed because this is really, really cool. And why am I opening a second CPU-Z? Anyway, I'm also going to be doing some memory overclocking on this, of course. Um, like, for now, I've just been keeping the memory at XMP and, you know, like, the, the right now the priority is just can you even overclock the CPU? And it, apparently, yes, you can. It's extreme. It is janky and it's clunky and uh, and it doesn't work like any other... AM4 motherboard I've ever worked with. Admittedly, I never worked with an A320 board, so, you know, like, that I think would probably be the closest comparison would be A320 and A520, but I never worked with an A320, so I don't know how, like, how those work, but this, this can overclock, so, um, yeah, that's, that's cool, and then, of course, this is, like, this is, of course, the A520MH, which is a 2DIM motherboard, and so Gigabyte, you know, advertises it as a capable 5 gigahertz memory clock, so uh, I, I, of course, will be testing that, because, like, 5 gig, like, I don't know. Well, at this point, I kind of feel like 5 gig memory is getting a little bit old on my channel, but I still enjoy it. Like, I, I still find it fun, because it's just such a ridiculously high memory speed, and may maybe I'll try push for 5.1, 5.2. Uh, we'll see when I get to that. Anyway, um, yeah, this is this is basically a teaser video as far as... I wonder what happens if I run something heavier, like Intel Burn Test. It's just... Uh, let's go high. Maybe it'll crash. Please don't. Like, the thing is, Intel Burn Test has a... Uh, it first has to load up into the memory. So right now it's just loading up. So the ratio not dropping is roughly what I'd expect. And... Well, 
Where's the big drop? Oh, that, yeah, that's not a big drop. That's still 4.35 gigahertz. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Also, um, this board, like, this board's just really cool in, in a bunch of ways. Oh, man, this is super laggy right now. IBT. IBT tends to kill stuff as, like, kill system responsiveness. No, I don't want that. Yeah, everything is lagging the hell out. CPU temperatures are, aren't great. The the fan speed is maxed out, and yeah, IBT isn't as hot as Prime 95, but we're, we're still holding 4.35 gigahertz. Like, oh my god, and I think it might be a smidge unstable. Actually, maybe not even a smidge, maybe a lot, but we'll, we'll see. By the... Like, it'll spit out another loop, and either it'll have the the same result, or it won't have the same result, and if it doesn't... Oh, no, apparently, apparently this is relatively stable. Well, that's impressive. Um, oh, but the, the cool thing with this board is, like, you have VR... Like, you have a bunch of temperature sensors, including, like, VRM temperature. I wonder what the hell is at 79 degrees right now. Like, temperature 3, I'm not sure what that is. And I really need to get IBT to stop because my mouse is just spazzing out. There we go. So much better. Um, anyway, so you have a, you know, you have, a, like, what's cool is you now have the new um, voltage controllers that don't suck anymore. And so you actually get um, VR, V-out readings, you get VRM temperatures, power power monitoring that's not super necessarily super accurate, but we'll, we'll see. Like, it could be pretty accurate. Um, yeah, so so this is cool. Like, I, and then the fact that we have the temperature sensors. Oh, I think temperature 3 is the CPU. Yeah, because uh, temperature 5 is the VRM. Temperature 3, I'm going to guess, is the CPU. Um, because that, yeah, that basically matches the CPU temp up here, so it's going to be CPU. Anyway, um, like, I, I'm excited about this, <laughs> just, like, overclock, like, hopefully I figure out a way, a way to make the overclocking process not super janky, clanky, and awful, um, I'm also not sure, like, the high BCLK makes me kind of suspicious that this might not work with M.2 SSDs, but I can't test that because I don't respect M.2 SSDs, that actually, like, I just don't care for M.2 SSDs. As far as I'm concerned, SATA SSDs are fast enough, and I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in getting M.2 drives. So, uh, you know, if you have an M.2 drive, good for you. If you think it's great, then great for you. If, if like, I, I don't care, um... But the, that is one concern I have with this is because the BCLK should be overclocking every... Well, I'm not sure. Because AMD on... Like, AMD did actually decouple the BCLK at one point in time, but there was, like, a latency, like, a memory latency penalty for that. So I might have to test if that that's what's going on with this because, like, again, I'm, I'm not entirely... Like, I'm not entirely sure how this is working currently, but it works, and that's that's cool. Um, now I need to figure out how. Um, so, um, and make it suck less. Because right now, in my opinion, the overclocking process here just sucks a lot. So, yeah. Um, anyway, um, that's, that's it for the video. So I guess, uh, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, uh, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description below. There's also the AHOC Teespring store, uh, where you can pick up shirts, stickers, posters, you know, the usual, uh, YouTuber merch. Um, and that helps out immensely with running the channel. Like, it allows me to do things like buy the Ryzen 5 3600 that's currently running on this uh, motherboard that I also had to... Well, I didn't have to buy the board, but I didn't really feel like waiting for a shipment all the... Like, from Gigabyte, so I was just... Like, yeah. And, and now I can do... Well, actually, Gigabyte lets me do whatever the hell I want with their boards. So it's not like I... like. But sometimes I get motherboards where it's like, Buildzoid, you are not allowed to break this motherboard. And that makes me very sad. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.